quick video for you. Make sure to slow the speed down if I'm going a little too fast. And let's take a look at this. We've got a corner wall assembly here where I don't want this column or this post or anything that's going on here really. And so how do we create this? Well, right now I have two doorways in here. I'm gonna get rid of those because we're not gonna use doorways. Instead, we're gonna use a window pass-through, okay? So let me go ahead and place this window pass-through in plan and let me set this up. Let me open this up real quick, get into the general panel. I'm gonna set my height to, in this case, I'm gonna make it 80 and 7 eighths. And I'm gonna change my reference from finished floor, okay? Then I'm going to say negative 7 eighths, which is the exact same size as the thickness of my floor finish setup, okay? And then the next bit of this is, I'm going to change the bottom width of the frame because we can see on the right hand side, we've gotten rid of that casing, but that frame still remains. Well, it still will continue to remain, but we're gonna sink it below the floor level and we'll show you how that works in just a minute. So let me press okay. And then since we're in X16, I can copy, paste, reflect about and choose the room and that will paste on a diagonal, isn't that cool? The next part of this is that I need to resize this so that it's all the way to the corner. Let me resize on this one so that it's all the way to the corner. And then I might wanna actually make sure that this is a particular size that I want, right? So I'm gonna to have to open this up, get back in that general panel and make this width. In this case, I'm gonna make it 30 inches. So I'm gonna end up having to butt this to that corner again anyways. So now that I have this set up, what's our next step? Well, I get to control or shift select the other window pass through, open both of these up together. And then in the frame panel, you're gonna notice something appears here as a selection. I can choose mitered. And what does that do? When we press okay, it gets rid of that column or post. Now the last bit of this is that we've got something cutting into the floor, right? This is the case right here. So. Thing that I can do about this is choose this wall, choose this wall. I can break it if I need to, open these up, and I'm going to define in wall types, and, and I'm going to make a copy of this wall type and get into the wall properties panel down at the bottom. I'm gonna choose partition wall, okay? That means this is no longer going to cut that flooring. There we go, simple as that.